Hi everybody, welcome back to Kitsuk So Hot Side Adventures. Kind of a different video today. Um, I wanted to talk Wi-Fi. <coughs> Sorry. So I've got these, uh, Deco. This Deco Mesh Network. I believe these are by TP-Link. And, uh, so this is the three-puck system. It's got a couple gig ports built into the back. We are currently, obviously, in the garage. So, the issue was, where I live is, you know, a little rural, and, uh, gotta have Wi-Fi, because cell signal around here is not that great. And I wanted to be able to go anywhere on the property, any corner of anywhere, of any hole I decide to go, and I wanted to be, have Wi-Fi for any device, whether it's, a uh, diagnostic device you're troubleshooting a vehicle or you're on your cell phone or just trying to make a phone call it's hard to do sometimes so everything i do is wi-fi based and what i had before was a old, old asus router wasn't cutting it anymore wasn't keeping up too many devices so i got that uh deco tp link mesh network it is wi-fi 6 of course got to keep up with the times wi-fi 7 is just coming out so I got that. So I got the main hot puck. It's uh, up by the uh, entertainment stand in the living room. Plugged into my Spectrum modem. We'll call it, we'll call it the modem. And so the, everything. So that's that's up, uploaded. And then I got a couple things plugged in up there. And then it comes over here. And we have that one is they all mesh on basically a Wi you know Wi-Fi six ish connection. So that one meshes up to there, and then uh, I'm in the barn a lot, which is all the way back there. Well, there's no well, my old router couldn't do it; it couldn't get the signal out there. So now I've got my barn access point. It mesh connects to the one here in the garage, and then the one here in the garage meshes back up to the one in the living room, which is the main. All wireless connection, other than power. It's, uh, it's been great. Everywhere I go, I got signal. I go to any back corner of my yard. I can basically walk across the street to my neighbor's house. Uh, my cell phone will connect to my Wi-Fi like a couple hundred feet before I even hit my driveway. I've got probably 7,500 square feet of coverage is the kit that I bought. And it's been fantastic. I... No complaints about it. I mean, there's a lot too more expensive. I think this is about 150, less than $200 uh, kit, and should have done it sooner. Honestly, just the way the way the world is and technology, you just got to be connected. So that's what I've done uh, in the recent past. It's been a few. I've had them now three to six months, and no issues. I've had power outage and everything else. Everything boots right up. Re everything connects. Um, when you when you set it up, I've got uh, one SSID, one wireless name. So when you go on your wireless settings, you just click that name, and it doesn't matter if it's a IoT to smart device like an Alexa um, smart plug or a bulb or whatever you're trying to do with setting up a smart home. Connects perfectly. Auto it auto negotiates 2.4. Or if you got an older device, connects on 5 gigahertz. Or if you got a newer device, maybe a Sam, maybe a Galaxy uh, S22 Ultra, it connects on Wi-Fi 6, and it'll have a little six on the little symbol in the corner of her on the phone. So everything's been working good. You know, I've got I don't know 20, 30 devices always connected at this point between uh, call it unofficially smart home setup going, and uh, just cell phones and tablets and laptops and you know, diagnostic diagnostic devices like my Altel, I'm, I think it's a Maxis, and so those are those are great to have. So I can be, like I said, anywhere in the property, and I can diagnose a car, and I can connect and get on like all data or whatever. So it's been a uh, been great to have. Just wanted to, I guess, make a review of my experience with the TP Link Deco. But thanks for tuning in on that one. Catch you guys later.